this book is called I'm Big Enough. It is written by Amber Stewart and Lane Marlowe. Drew the pictures. I'm Big Enough by Amber Stewart and Lane Marlowe. Bean was big enough. She was big enough to hop all the way around Stickleback Pond without stopping. She was big enough to go dandelion picking and choose the juiciest ones for Mommy to cook. Bean was even big enough to swing the highest of all her friends. So high, her giggles could be heard over and beyond Bluebell Wood. So high, her tummy tumbled as she flew up. She was big enough to do all these things, but was Bean big enough to stop taking her blanket just about everywhere she went? No, said Bean. I love my blankie. Maybe you could try doing things without your blanket, said Mommy and Daddy gently. Yes. Blankets are for babies, said Bean's big brother. No, they're not, said Bean. So Bean made a plan, just in case her family decided to take her blanket away. She called it the Keep Blanky Forever Plan. Early in the morning, Bean set out to hide her blanket in a special secret place. It wasn't on the edge of Stickleback Pond because the frogs might find it. It wasn't between the branches of Thunderstruck Tree because the birds might take it. It wasn't buried in the soft earth because the mice might want it. Bean was just wondering if she would ever find the right spot when she saw a hollow log hidden by overgrown bushes. Bean hid her blanket deep in the hollow log and hurried home. She was happy all day knowing that the blanket was safe. But when bedtime drew near, Bean wanted her blanket. She had never had a bedtime without cuddling her blanket, and she didn't want one now. So Bean set out to her secret hiding place to bring her blanket back home. The woods looked different in the early evening light. All the hollow logs seemed the same, and now Bean wasn't sure which one was hide her hiding place. Was her blanket in that hollow log? Or that one? Or that one? Oh no, cried Bean. My plan didn't work. I've lost Blanky. Poor Bean had no choice but to return home. Blanketless and close to tears, she saw Mommy. 
Bean, where did you go? Mommy asked. To look for Blanky, sniffed Bean, but I couldn't find it. Bean's family was very kind about the lost blanket disaster. Daddy read her two extra bedtime stories and Mommy made her hot milk to help her sleep. And Bean's brother lent her his second favorite teddy bear. Bean didn't like her first bedtime without her blanket. She didn't much like her second or third either. But soon, looking for her blanket turned into looking for ladybugs and four-leaf clovers and making the very best hideouts and going hollow log sledding until Bean had forgotten all about her blanket. One windy spring day, a long time later, Bean and her friends were chasing dandelion seeds in a sunny part of the woods when she saw the strangest thing. Bean looked at the tiny baby fox and knew now that her mommy was right. She really was too big for her blanket. The end.